The following presentation is being brought to you commercial free thanks in part to LDDJ Interiors, serving the Palm Beaches to Miami in the South Florida area. At LDDJ Interiors, our mission is to get you to your happy home. With over 35 years of quality service behind us, we specialize in drywall finishing, knockdown, textured ceilings and walls, woodwork finish painting, and so much more. Contact us today so we can get you started on your journey to your happy, happy home experience. The following presentation is a production of Reunion Media Group. Please see the show description for the link and please support our show sponsors. Welcome to Soul Cafe Radio. You are listening to From the Heart, a daily podcast designed to inspire, encourage, and educate the people of God. And now here's your host, the Word Master. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are and whenever you're listening. You're tuned into the Soul Cafe Studios from the Heart Podcast. This week, we are looking at a series entitled, The Deep Things of God. We begin part one with just that same title, The Deep Things of God. Our scripture reading is going to be coming from 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 9 to 16, and it reads, But as it is written, I had not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God had prepared for them that love him. But God had revealed them unto us by his Spirit. For the Spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of God. For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the Spirit of man which is in him? Even so the things of God knoweth no man but the Spirit of God. Now we have received not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God, which things also we speak not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Ghost teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him, neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. Verse 15. But he that is spiritual judged all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. 16 and last. For who hath known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. So as we labor to go throughout this series for the week, we are going to be looking at some advanced light principles. And as you go along on the journey with me, I only ask you one thing, and that is that you have the spirit of the noble Bereans, that you go back and search and see if these things are so. We are going to be going on a fairly advanced experience, but I do believe that the Lord God has promised in these verses and other places will not keep anything back from you, will reveal to you that they are spirit and that they are life. So today we just want to examine the overall subject of the deep things of God. Does God have deep things that he wants us to know? Of course. That's why Jesus said to the disciples that there are many things that I need to teach you, but you can't bear them now. But there was a time when they were able to, and they preached in that powerful message that the Holy Spirit had imparted to them. Likewise, when he was speaking to Nicodemus and explained to him earthly things, He said, if you cannot understand even the earthly principles, how can I teach you heavenly? You see, beloved, in our scripture reading, it gives us the answer as to how and the why. We must be born again. We must believe that as born-again believers, we have the mind of Christ, and we must believe that as Jesus himself told us, that he will tell us his friends things. You don't tell a servant those deep things. You tell your friends those deep things. And in Amos 3 and 7, the Bible says, Surely the Lord God will do nothing but reveal his secrets to his servants, the prophets. Today we just want to analyze the thought and we will close on that. Why would God give you the mind of Christ if not to communicate with you on a deeper level? Notice our scripture reading tells us that it's not just the deep things of God that he wants to share with us. He wants to share with us spiritual things because the natural man will not be able to comprehend 
those things. He only thinks and he only operates on a natural level. But you, my dear beloved, you, my fellow Christian, you, my fellow believer, are operating on a higher standard, a higher calling. Your affections have been turned away from this world unto heaven, and therefore you cannot operate on earthly principles. That is why when it comes to what you watch, what you read, what you hear, what you eat, how you dress, and so forth, how you worship, and I could keep on going. There's a radical transformation because you continue to behold the face of Jesus and he continues to lead you in the way everlasting. And the natural man does not understand the operations that's taking place within you, why you no longer go to the places you used to go, why you no longer talk the way you used to talk, why you no longer dress the way that you used to dress, why you no longer behave the way you used to behave. It is because you are entering into those deep things of God that relationship that causes you not to be a superficial person any longer. It is a higher calling. And because there's a higher calling on your life, you're wanting to go deep. That's how it works in a transformation, a tree that is planted, the seeds go into the ground, and then it begins to generate roots, but then it begins to shoot out of the ground, and it goes higher and goes higher. But as it goes higher, it's also going deeper. You get what I'm saying? The deeper you go, the higher you go. That's the concept. And I want to encourage you, my fellow believer, do not ever get tired of being curious about the Word of God. Do not ever get tired of being curious about the mind of God that Jesus has died to give you. You have the mind of God invested in you. And therefore, you must think deeper than the kiddie pool. You must rise higher than your highest thought. Hear this. As we close out, and I want to share from my heart to yours, my beloved. There are many things that the Lord wants to share with you, wants to share with me. But we are too full of ourselves. We need to become empty so that the Lord can fill us with that spiritual blessing that he longs to feed us with. What say you? How do you respond to this message today? It's an important one. But as I close, the lesson that I believe that it holds for each and every one of us is that we do not settle, but we get to a place where we are able to hear from God even those deep things that he's promised to give unto us. May God bless you abundantly as we continue this series throughout the course of of this week. Until then. The proceeding has been a presentation of Reunion Media Group. Please see the show description to be a monthly sponsor. Monthly sponsorships are $2, and you will receive exclusive content not heard anywhere else. Thank you for joining us today on Soul Cafe Radio. You've been listening to powerful music and messages for the mind and soul. Join us next time when we deliver more of the same. And remember to visit our website at www.soulcafeonline.org.